the people of Israel today would never allow for such animosity to exist. There is no such animosity. You don't have stories where the chief rabbi of Israel, and I'm comparing him to the Sanhedrin, it's, I'm, I ask forgiveness from everybody involved. Uh, the chief rabbi of Israel will come into the Knesset and will not be screamed out of the chambers by the prime minister of Israel. He comes into the office of the prime minister, for sure the prime minister will stand up for him. Likely it will work the other way too. I once saw uh, Benjamin Netanyahu walking into a wedding and all these Haredim stood up for him. At the end of the day they recognized he's the prime minister of Israel. The animosity that existed between the political and religious establishment, sure, is there friction, friction everywhere. But what existed in Second Temple times, we are so much farther, uh, so, so far away from that. And when beginning to discuss, so what is the relationship between church and state in Jewish history? And trying to compare it to another period like Second Temple times, we have to also make sure that we don't make a gross oversimplification and think that everything is the same. Not everything is the same. The Jewish people of today are much more respectful, are much more deeply Jewish. I'm going to push this even farther. The Jews of today are much deeper Pharisees than they were in Second Temple times. Whereas yes, in Second Temple times there were a lot of Jews, but there were all kinds of Jews. Even the Jews today that are broken off into a thousand denominations, for the most part, I'm excluding some very small groups, for the most part are fighting over wow, how good or how bad of a Pharisee are they. They're all rabbinic Jews. They're all doing Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippurim. They're all wearing tefillin, even if they don't wear tefillin, or even if they have women wear tefillin. But they're all doing rabbinic Judaism. The respect for Tamidei Chamim is profound. And when dealing with this issue going forward, and when blaming the state of Israel for trampling religion, or blaming the religious establishment for putting a stranglehold on the Jewish people, you have to think a little deeper than that. Who is the current state of Israel? Who are the citizens of the state of Israel? Who are the Jews of the world? And only then can you reach proper conclusions.